getting on to my surge, which I really, really like the surge. I mean, there's there's a weight ratio here that, yeah, it's, it's damn heavy. It's it's a big multi tool. It's it's it 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 has its usefulness and it has its detractions. Um, the detraction of it being weight. I don't like a lot of weight. Uh, I'm always looking at trying to cut my weight if I can. Um, but there's times where I utilize this where I don't care. Um, in the rear, uh, especially on duty for the military, typically this is the one I always carry. Um, uh, Downrange, uh, you know, I haven't had the opportunity to to have to decide whether I need this one downrange or not. So we'll see what happens down the road. Um, honestly, I think I'll probably still carry it. You know, with everything else I've got um, strapped on me, I, I like the idea of having this multi-tool with me. It's durable. I know it's gonna with it's gonna hold up. I've been using it, um, and my whole purpose of trialing this one out was how well will this function downrange. And to that effect, you know, I gotta say I like what I have so far. Um, once again, a miss on my, in my humble opinion, these pliers don't come completely flush. They have a bit of a gap there. Um, I don't know if you can really see that or not. Small gap. So everything's not quite fitting in there as it needs to. Um, these, uh, serrations in here really allow you to pick up on a bolt real well. I've used the cutters. There's cutters here. There's also cutters down here at the base in between. Um, as you can see. I'm moving on to some of the other features. Let me close this up. Uh, an excellent, excellent blade. Long uh, if I remember correctly, this is 154 cm stainless. Sharp, holds an edge well. I need to uh, actually hone this a little bit more again because I've been beating this pretty heavily. But um, an excellent long blade. Um, to give you an idea, uh, where, where is... There. The Ladybug blade. You know, would I consider this a tactical blade? No, 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 not by any stretch. Um, but can I eat with this knife? And have I eaten with this knife? Yes. And it serves that capacity very well. Um, move on to the other side. The serrated blade. Excellent one-handed opening. Again, everything locks with these tabs here on the side. Um, excellent blade. Once again, I've eaten and utilized this blade quite a bit also. Uh, this is a feature I really, really like on this blade. Um, the replaceable saw slash file and the files in the holster that I'll get to in a minute. Um, real easy to change out. Pull this around. Pull this one out. I guess I'll show you now. And this would be the file. Really nice file. I haven't had to use it much, but um, it works. Um, and the whole purpose of having something like this is for when you need it. Um, put this back in here. I need to actually get a backup blade for the saw, too, so I can put that in there. Um, let's throw that back in there. I'll touch on what's in here in a minute. Um, let me close this up. Now, leading to one of the features that I really, really like in this blade. The scissors. These scissors. Awesome, awesome scissors. Big scissors. Um, can do a lot with that. They're very sharp. Um, durable. They hold up well. Spring here to... Uh, Actuate them. They close up excellent. Everything logs back up and they're out of the way. Uh, getting to some of the other features here. One of the issues I do have with this knife is sometimes these tools aren't the easiest to get out. I like this bit driver. Regular flat tip blade. 
and a Phillips blade. Just tucks back in there. If I want to get the separate bit drivers, I can. I choose at this point not to be carrying around the extra bits. I don't need them. Locks up. One of the th one of the other things I like is all these things lock up. This will fold back down. Uh, but before it does, let me pull out the rest of this stuff. An excellent can opener. That also locks up again. See, getting on to the other side. One of the things I really like about this blade is this all this that's right here. Very, very sharp, very nice pointy end with a hole, so you can actually do something with it if you actually need to utilize it. I have used this all in already, uh, changing out some strapping on a on a pack. Um, let me make some room here. Real nice big flat tip screwdriver. And then another bit driver with a flat tip. And a jeweler's head. Phillips. Um, and once again, one of the things I like about this very much is it's these bits are replaceable. So if something does break, I, uh, for what I've seen from uh, from Le uh, Leatherman's uh, return policies and everything, and from the people I've talked to, uh, they will replace it or you know repair it as needed. The other thing I like, all these are hex or uh, I forget the name of these now, but I have the the bits to replace all of these. They have the little center bolt in this in them. Um, so you need a special tool. So I'm gonna do a hex. I forget the God. I forget the name of it. It might be a Torx even. I can't remember now. But um, I I've I've broken this down and cleaned it up a couple times already because one time it fell in a mud puddle at the range. Um, getting to this uh, sheath. Not a bad sheath. Um, there's more room here. This actually fits in my duty belt. So yay. Um, Velcro still holding. I've got a couple things in here just for giggles. Um, fire steel, a couple fish hooks. Um, I took out the fishing line actually today because I didn't like it. It was old fishing line, so I need to replace that. Um, I suppose I should leave old fishing line in there. It's better than nothing until I put the new one in there, but I'm just fixing to uh, reline some of my, my fishing rods, so I may turn around and just put that in there sometime in the next couple days. Uh, the sheath actually is very durable. Um, I am seeing some fraying down at the bottom here. I'm not sure how long that'll hold, but we'll see. Um, as I said, you know, sheaths are, most of these sheaths aren't really that great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's my big multi-tools. Um, I like big multi-tools like I like big knives. I'd rather have a larger one if I need it. And then if I need something smaller, well, that's what I always have the Leatherman scored on me for. Backups to my backups. Um, maybe some of y'all can relate to that, some of y'all can't. I don't know. You know, uh, but I, I, as I've mentioned multiple, multiple times, I like options. I keep this in my car for the fact that if I need it, it's there. Uh, for whatever reason, one of these breaks, I've got something else. Um, but they're there to thrash on. They're there to utilize. Um, they're not there to polish and whatever. You know. Now, do I clean them and take good care of them? Sure, I take good care of all my tools. Uh, because if you don't take care of them, when you need them the most, they're going to let you down just like any good weapon system will or anything like that. If you don't take care of them, you're going to pay the price. Uh, somewhat, you know, I say this somewhat in jest, but one of my little sayings that I usually have is, is um, all these things are like condoms. I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. 
Uh, and that goes with guns, knives, multi-tools, um, everything. One is none, two is one, three is two. That is the GNR philosophy um, in a nutshell. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's my review of some big multi-tools. I didn't really throw out a lot of weights and sizes or anything else because they're multiple stuff out there but these are just my little inputs on on these tools and what I've found from them so far uh, if you got any questions or any flame go ahead and throw them but like I always say please be respectful uh, everybody has their opinion uh, and I like to hear everyone's opinion uh, you know it's, I don't have to agree with everybody's opinion but I like to hear everybody's opinion because sometimes I actually do learn from other people and other people may eventually learn from me. If they don't, they still heard it. Anyways, this is uh, GNRRN, Guns and Army RN. Y'all have a good day. Be safe.